To make an XY scatter graph in Google Sheets desktop, go ahead and select your data uh, that you intend to graph. And then on the right side, click on Insert Chart. This is not an XY scatter graph. This is a line chart. That's different. To get an XY scatter graph, I'll have to tell it that I want one. In this case, it's one of the suggested options, and I can select that option there. But if it's not suggested, the scatter graph option is available down here. The desktop version is automatically labeled the x-axis with the time and the y-axis with the distance. This graph can be made with the Google Sheets app, but this is as far as one can really go with the Google Sheets app. You can change the titles in the x and the y-axis subtitles but there's not much more you can do. Here on the desktop uh, version, also available on the laptop, there is, next to Setup, a Customize button. If you click on Customize, there are a large number of different adjustments you can make. And perhaps the most useful in statistics is this Series item right here. If you open up Series and scroll down, you will see Trend Line as an option. Once you click on Trend Line, another section will open. This section will let you choose the type of the trend line, linear, exponential, polynomial, logarithmic, power series, moving average. Linear is the default option. I'll go ahead and select a linear. You also have the option to select a label. You can uh, put up what's called a custom label. You can Use the equation and demonstrate the equation, showing the equation here on the chart. You can also show the coefficient of determination, here referred to by its variable name of r squared. It is the square of r, um, which is uh, the square of the correlation coefficient r. You can make some other adjustments like the line thickness and the opacity of the line as well as the color of the line can be made into a contrasting or distinguishing color if one wishes to. There are a number of other adjustments that one can make from here. It includes adjustments to the horizontal axis that can be made, including manually adjusting the minimum and the maximum, and the vertical axis. Again, you can do things like adjusting the minimum and maximum. You can also add grid lines to it. So that if you want to have grid lines, say, on that y axis, uh, every one, you'll need to put four minor grid lines. And then we've got one, two, three, four. And you can now see that that y intercept is indeed very close to three. So these are some capabilities available for scatter graphs on the desktop and uh, in full browser mode. Uh, available on, uh, certainly on a laptop uh, for Google Sheets. These options are not available in the app itself. But if you are working with a desktop or a laptop, then these are certainly useful options for making the graph. The functions that will be covered in the Google Sheets app video are the same functions. They work the same way. You can simply type them in. You'll have to type them for the slope, you'll have to type the slope. You, it'll provide hints to you of how to lay it out, and you can get the same slope value that you can see there on the graph. So 2.77 to 2.76. So these are all also available to you, just as they are in the app. But it is the additional capabilities in this scatter graph. If you wish to go back and edit that, you simply click on the three dot menu in the upper left, click on Edit Chart, and you can get back to both the Setup screen and the Customize screen and go ahead and make adjustments in the graph or chart.